Hi guys, my name is Corey and I am the talent coordinator for Sephora Hudson Yards. And today I am here to teach you a quick little tutorial on how to have an amazing, relaxing spa night at home. Now listen, it is undeniable that times are stressful right now, but we all deserve to have a little spa night where we can relax, unwind, reset, and use that little extra time that we have right now to our advantage. So let's get started. Now you're probably asking yourself, I don't have a massage bed, I don't know a masseuse, my boyfriend's not a chiropractor, how am I gonna have a spa night at home? The reality is it's super easy to pamper yourself and give yourself an amazing spa experience. So I just cleansed my face and I shaved. Um, so we have a nice blank canvas to do our skincare pampering night on. Um, with that being said, we never really want to wear our everyday clothes when we do a spa night. We always want to feel a little extra luxurious and we always want to make sure that we're pampering ourselves as much as we can. So I'm going to go change real quick. Ah, <sighs> so much better. So for tonight's face mask, we're actually gonna do the Tatcha Violet C Radiance Mask. If you guys haven't tried this before, it is amazing. It has this beautiful, beautiful violet color to it. As you can see, I've used quite a bit. And it has this really beautiful, really soft floral smell, which also gives that spa night experience that little extra um, relaxing edge. So we're gonna use the little spoon that they provided, and we're gonna take a little, but not so little, dab of the mask, and we're gonna get in there. I always like to tell people, you really wanna focus on those areas that we generally forget about, which would be the areas right around the mouth that kind of get neglected. We always wanna get right on that upper lip, right up to the lip line there, because really, our skin starts there. We don't wanna start halfway down our lip. Now going down the neck is super important because as we age, we get those lines in our neck. We're always looking down at our phones. So we wanna make sure that we're preventing any aging on the neck, just like we would on the face. And just like that, I am your glowy purple alien. Now you may be asking yourself, Corey, why choose the Tatcha mask tonight, right? Uh, I chose this one tonight because it really has benefits across the board. So um, one of my favorite things about it is that it has two different forms of vitamin C in it. Vitamin C is gonna be really good for anything along the lines of dark spots, age spots, hyperpigmentation, sun damage, age damage, acne scars, you name it. In addition to the vitamin C, the Tatcha mask also has a 10% alpha hydroxy acid. Now alpha hydroxy acid is going to slowly nibble away at the dead skin that's glued to your face, kind of break down any dead skin um, and just help so that when you wash off your mask, you're washing off the dead skin with it. Now, Tatcha recommends that we leave this mask on for 15 to 20 minutes, and I've left it on for about five. So I will come back to you guys in 10 minutes, and we will wash this off. All right, everyone, so it's been a little over 15 minutes, so I grabbed a nice hot washcloth, and we're gonna take it off. Now, I do like to say I love using washcloths to remove my mask. Main reason, because you can just get in there and remove the whole side of your face in one swipe. Um, I definitely think it's a lot easier than rinsing it in the sink for half an hour and spending your entire night getting it out of your eyes and making a whole mess. Uh, and the time it takes us to talk about it, this mask is going to be gone. So that's really why I use a hot washcloth. Now the reason I'm going in with a hot washcloth is because it'll help to steam the pores a little bit. It'll give them that little bit of a looser feel. And when we go in with our skincare in just a second, you'll find that it kind of goes in deeper, absorbs faster. You just get a much easier experience because your skin's already kind of steamed and calmed down a little bit. And guys, if my word is not enough about this product being a freaking miracle worker, look at my skin right now. The glow is crazy. I haven't even put on skincare yet. Um, this is just totally dry skin, but we look like we're wearing highlighter or something. Like, it's amazing. Now here's the thing, a lot of people feel like extra steps means extra work or that it's more complicated, but really you'll find that if you add that extra product or two into your spa night, it's not gonna really take extra time, it'll just give you that extra luxurious, extra pampered feel. So I like to make sure that when I do skincare on a spa night that I'm really going in with all of my favorite products. So we're gonna start out first things first with an essence. Uh, my personal favorite is the SK2 Facial Treatment Essence. It looks like this, um, and it has this thing called Patera Extract in it. Um, Patera Extract is really rich in vitamins and minerals. It's gonna help to really preserve the aging in your skin, um, make sure that you don't age at all, and um, it's really easy to use. So all you do is you screw off the cap, you drop a little bit into the palm of your hands, and you just rub your hands together and just kinda pat it on. 
And now that our essence is on our skin, we're gonna use my new favorite serum. This one is from a brand called Suwashu. And I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, it actually just launched in Sephora. Right before stores closed, we got this amazing new brand. And they're actually best known for their first care serum. Um, this one's amazing because it's very herbal. It's very earthy. So what you can actually do, I like to take two to three pumps of it. And I like to rub it between my hands. And inhale the really nice herbal scent. When you give yourself that little extra second to inhale the scent, it's gonna really help to calm you, and it actually has some nice aromatherapy benefits to it as well. Um, I definitely feel like I'm 10 times more relaxed now that I gave myself just those five simple little seconds of taking a deep breath, smelling those natural herbs, and really having a nice, luxurious experience. Now when I'm applying my serum, I like to go upwards in lifting motion so that the skin is always staying lifted at all times. We never wanna pull down on our skin and age our skin. We always wanna give it that nice lift and we always wanna do our nice little prayer hands which can open up and really hydrate our skin in a nice lifted way. So now it's time for one of my favorite tips and favorite techniques to share with you guys. One of my favorite things to do when I am really trying to pamper myself and really elevate my spa experience at home, I like to pair a facial oil with a facial roller. So this is the Herbivore Facial Roller and we sell this at Sephora. And it's basically two jade crystals on a little roller. Now the Lord Jones Royal Oil has 500 milligrams of hemp derived CBD. Um, what CBD is, is basically a soothing ingredient that helps to calm irritation in the skin and also helps to calm tension in the skin as well. So after like a long day, I really love to put some of this on the back of my neck. I'll put some on my shoulders. And also we're gonna show you how to do it on the temples of your forehead as well. If you're ever getting a headache or you're getting that stress tension in your head, we're really gonna soothe that down tonight. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out by just loading a little bit of oil into the cap of the product. I'm gonna take my dropper and I'm actually going to do a little extra oil tonight. I'm gonna do about 10 to 15 drops. Now the reason being, not all of that's going to end up on our skin. We're gonna uh, rub our hands together, press that on the face, and we're gonna do this kinda quickly. And we're just gonna make sure that's everywhere. Don't forget that neck. And now we're gonna go in with our herbivore roller and we're just gonna roll the oil deeper into our skin. Now there are specific techniques that you can actually look up online to figure out the best ways to use a facial roller. For me, I just like to make sure I'm using those lifting motions and I like to make sure I'm massaging the product into those areas that particularly feel stressed out. For me, I always feel stress in my temples and in my forehead, so I always like to massage a little extra right in these corners and just let the CBD and the royal oil sink in and give us that nice soothed feel. Just continuing the rolling process down the neck here, and then going back up in those lifting motions one more time across the cheeks and forehead. That will conclude our little roller session for the night. Now you guys will find when you buy one of these that they are almost always cold. They never feel hot, they never feel warm. So they're always gonna cool you down, and if you really wanna maximize on that benefit, you can always put them in the fridge as well. These feel so, so, so good when you pull them out of a fridge, especially on like a summery day when it's a little extra hot out, and just massage in your skincare with them, your skin will thank you 10 times over. Now to finish our little spa night, we're gonna use two of my favorite luxury skincare items. First thing we're gonna use to finish up is our Alpha H Liquid Gold Eye Cream. This one is amazing because it actually is super, super anti-aging. Just like that Tatcha face mask, this also has alpha hydroxy acids in it. So if you take the tiniest little amount of this eye cream, you will find that by morning, your under eyes look glowy, smooth, supple, really like you lost 10 years overnight, it's amazing. Now let's be honest, eye creams are one of those things that are a hit or a miss. I find with the Alpha H, you're getting so many good active ingredients in there at one time that it's so worth the money. It is amazing, amazing for anyone who struggles with under eye milia, which is those little bumps under the eyes. If it's fine lines, it's gonna help with that. And it really just helps to retexturize the eye area so that you wake up feeling super smooth. And now finally, our last step of the night is one of my holy, holy grails. This one is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. Guys, Everyone told me their skin changed when they tried this, and I believed them, but I had to see it for myself. Now listen, I haven't used that much of this product. I've used about that much. My skin already sees a huge difference. So I'm kind of shook at the fact that I didn't have to use much of this product to really see results. Um, this is gonna be one of those things where a little dab will do ya. I'm gonna rub that between my hands, 
And again, just like we were doing with our oil, we're gonna go in upwards lifting motions, upwards and outwards, and our prayer hands. Now, for those of you who don't know, prayer hands means you start with your hands like this, and you spread them out to give your face that nice lifted feel. So we're just gonna keep lifting that face cream up into the skin. I also love the smell of Magic Cream. It smells so luxurious. It smells so rich and fresh. And just like that, we're done. <laughs> All right, guys, and just like that, our skin care night is finished. I am feeling the glowiest I've ever felt. Uh, my skin feels so radiant and fresh, and I'm so glad that we got to have a little skincare night together. Um, I want to thank you all so much for watching. Um, I cannot wait to see you all back in stores when we do reopen. Until then, I really hope that your family stays safe, stays healthy, and that you do the same. Thank you guys so much, and we will see you soon. Bye, guys.